Morning dawns. So, I've been traveling now for almost two weeks and a 2022 Dodge Durango all wheel drive GT. You can see my little uh, hotel for the night. I rigged some old, uh, old boxes. You'd think the slats really don't bother you because as long as you get it rigged where it covers out the street lights. I use some towels. Let's see there. Uh, I got a towel. Get up. Wait, let's see. Here's the window. But let's see, I'm at a rest area. Right outside of Michigan today. I was at Cedar Point, Sandusky, Ohio, at the amusement park. Had all those roller coasters. Unfortunately, I didn't know Cedar Park has really high winds. They have to shut everything down. So for about five hours, there were no uh, roller coasters. To I'll well, get some light in here. There we go. Take down some cardboard. There we go. You can see here. You can see my digs. I got me a bunch of pillows. You got to have pillows, man. This is, I don't know what this blanket is, but this is the warmest little thing. I've been sleeping in 35 degree weather with no heat, not running the car. All I have is a little uh, mattress here. Let me see. I got a piece of foam underneath about, what is that? That's, I need to get some light here. That's probably what? Eh. Two inches so we've got got a cot mattress from a cot I have in the house and over here uh, we have our uh, anybody guess what this is huh it's not detergent but it's cold it's 35 degrees you don't open the doors let let your body heat out and so at your bathroom uh, make sure you got a tight fitting lid I paid all one dollar for that and had already used the dish detergent a long time ago. But uh, what's nice about this Durango is uh, normally this towel is in between these two seats. So it gets pretty dark in here. I like this down here. You can see it has a... Uh, I need to get some more light in here. Uh, uh, down at the bottom has a 110 outlet so I can charge this. This is an Odoo. Audu, Odoo, A-U-D-E-W. It's a little charger. And um, that's my power source. I'm charging that one up 71%. Um, with the 110 outlet, I charge that up. And then in the... Uh, Nighttime, I use that to hook my cell phone because I run on a Randall's uh, sleepy fans. You really need that because that way it helps drown out noise. Yeah, it's kind of messy in here. I just improvised last night. I got in late. Use some towels. I use my coat there. But um, I stay warm. Like I say, it's 35 degrees. I think this morning and. I don't know what you call it. It's, what is it, a fleece or something like that? It's just a thin, thin blanket. But let me tell you, this sucker, it'll keep the heat in, man. I mean, I've been fine. I haven't, I've been fine. I hadn't been cold, I guess. Really, even my arms didn't get cold last night. And you can see he's talking about my, my hair is a mess. Huh, I cover up here. But uh, I don't know if you can see me or not. <laughs> but I've been traveling uh, for... Uh, about almost two weeks now and I got a week more to go and I've been a bunch of places so far I've been uh, started in Tampa Florida and uh, where all I've been now I went to a Civil War battlefield outside of Lake City and I drove up to uh, Charleston that's a pretty city had a really good steak dinner and then I went to a local bar and did karaoke. Had a good time doing that. Um, it was mainly kids. Uh, look at that. It's nice. It's nice. Got him a nice charger there. 
This is the Dodge Channel today. I'm in a Durango. He's got a Challenger. He's got him a nice Dodge Ram. But anyways, um, it's not as pretty here as other places. I say, but anyway, so I went there and then I uh, traveled to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. Boy, that's something you ought to see. It's been uh, yeah, almost two uh, two full days and a half day there. A lot of nice folks in Kentucky. And then I went down to uh, see my daughter in Charlotte and for a day and uh, hit the road again, headed up to uh, Hickory, saw some old friends, and then headed up to uh, Virginia, slept in the Virginia rest area. Now, that was pretty cold. That was about 30, 33, 34 that night, and that was like my one of my first really cold nights, but other than that, I hadn't been cold. I adapted pretty soon, and and I left there and traveled all over to Virginia from beautiful places in Virginia. I can tell you that right now. Beautiful places. I mean, the USA as a whole has got a lot of beauty. But I've traveled, I got, I think about 2,800 miles thus far. So really not that many. And, and it's almost, I don't know, maybe 10 days so far. So that's only 280 a day. That's really not much. But, um. Virginia's gorgeous. Man, Virginia's gorgeous. Went to Virginia Tech. Um, went to the... Um, in Roanoke. What a beautiful city. Yeah, I went to the Pinball um, Museum there. I went to the Automobile Train um, Locomotive Museum uh, uh, toward the city. It's got some beautiful... Uh, I think it's... I can't remember the name. St. Albans Catholic Church. Looks like it belongs in Rome. It's so pretty. And um, they got a Roanoke Hotel. They can go up on the mountain too. Got this thing called Hilltop Mountain. It's got a star on it. That was really nice. So enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, finally left there and headed up towards Ohio. Ohio is a gorgeous state as well. And stopped at a couple places. Stopped the Football Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, and headed up to uh, Cedar Point last night and rode the roller coasters until the wind shut that down. But I uh, had a real good time so far heading up to Michigan today. And who knows where I'll go after that. I'll still have, uh, I guess, today's what? Saturday. So I got nine more days on the road. But again, you can see my little digs. This is kind of just impromptu. I could have easily cut out cardboard aluminum foil would have worked good but you know sometimes you're in a hurry but i got high pads i got towels here and coats there shirts there but you make it work because these rest areas are really really brightly lit but uh this is a really nice i love these seats i don't know if it's alcantara or not but i tell you this 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 is a nice vehicle this, this dodge you got the the hook up there in the center so your cell phone hooks in, you got your maps, and it, it integrates pretty well. Sometimes, like all these new technologies, it gets a little freaky. You have to reinsert your phone, but uh, yeah, I rented this. So it's always good, I think, if you can afford it. Just just rent a nice car if you have any car trouble, you know. That way you can uh, just call Enterprise, Enterprise Rental, and they'll just bring you another one. But it's been a been a fun trip. And, um, you know, if you get, if you get tired of just working all the time, you know, just hit the road, especially if you're solo like me, it's been a fun trip. So from the back of my rented 2022 Dodge Durango all wheel drive GT, I am, uh, signing out and headed up to Michigan. See America because it's a beautiful country. If you have a chance to do it, you can always make more money, but you can't make more time. And I am out from near the border of Michigan and Ohio.